Well, by the sound of that, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play some football. Hey, welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of M with uh, Madden 13 Connected Careers with TJ Bonds. Just thinking about Theo just a minute ago. <laughs> uh, but this is uh, Madden 13 Connected Careers with TJ Bonds, episode 3. And this is the very first game of the NF young NFL season of this young NFL uh Hopefully, superstar and legend uh, player. Uh, there you see, uh, we'll talk, look at his, some of his weekly goals that he has to accomplish uh, to get some extra XP uh, so we can improve uh, whatever abilities and uh, statistics that we want to um, have for him. There you see, he has 4,130 XP uh, for his uh, four preseason games that he played um, in the previous episode. And of course, uh, he played against the 49ers and Cardinals in that game, and that's how he, he got those XP uh, along playing against the first two games against the Bears and Seahawks. So, the first game, uh, there you see, it's a Sunday night game. Uh, it's at home against the Steelers. There you see the prestige and whatnot, which, uh, quite honestly, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but they do say we're ranked uh, 29th in offense and 4th in defense. Uh, with vice versa for the Steelers. So, as you take a look here, we're getting ready for some primetime football. Steelers, there you see, getting ready. There's Big Ben and crew uh, getting ready to play against uh, Bonds right there. You see with his um, oddly yellow, bright yellow hair that he has. <laughs> and there you see Peyton. Uh, so, we get a great matchup between two historic teams. Uh, that play here in the NFL. There you see uh, Sports Authority uh, field there uh, with the teams getting ready, getting warmed up, getting psyched for this game. Uh, the first game uh, of the year. It's always uh, fun and exciting, uh, but most importantly, the first Sunday night game of the big year between these two ball clubs. So uh, this should be a great uh, matchup between um, you know, future NFL legend right there. Actually, both of them are, but uh, more so a future Hall of Famer right there, uh, which uh, was uh, Peyton Manning and also Ben uh, Rossberger there. Uh, so there you see the team captains coming out and uh, getting the coin toss there for this game. And we'll see uh, Broncos win the toss, and they decide to go ahead and kick and defer uh, to get the ball in the second half. And you see the uh, Steelers are going to defend the left side of the field. So, um, as Teal would say, get your popcorn ready and get ready for some great action here on the gridiron for the very first game of this season. So we'll see what uh, TJ can do in his in this game. So you see uh, first and ten uh, in the ball game here. And Bonds uh, actually goes off in a screen pass, and uh, they throw. Uh, Manning throws to Thomas there for a 17-yard reception there for a first down. So, go ahead and get to second and nine, and we'll see what Bonds uh, and Broncos will do in this drive. The clock kick tick down. There you see Bonds gets a nice run right there and gets the nice. Uh, yards right there, and uh, he has, uh, has four uh, rushes with uh, 29 yards in this game. There you see a nice run right there from Bonds, uh, trying to get that first down, but just four yards shy of getting it. So you see the replay, uh, putting his head down, trying to truck a guy, but unable to getting tackled there by Taylor on that play. So again. The uh, replay, which is ridiculous in this game, it shows too many replays to be quite honest. Uh, so we'll go ahead and send the game, and we're going to go ahead and get to uh, the uh, nine, or excuse me, eight fifteen mark in the first quarter. You see a handoff to Bonds right there. And Bonds putting his head down again and getting the first down. There you see, uh, so far in this game, five rushes, forty-two yards in this game. There you see. Uh, a little time right there saying, well, you know what, I got that first down. What you guys going to do about it? So first and ten for the Broncos here. Uh, play clock winding down. Bonds there again. 
being the workhorse that he is for the team, getting tackled by Paul, Paul, Troy Paul Mullen right there for that play, for that for uh, again, uh, uh, really no yards in that play. And then you see uh, Manning throwing to Thomas once again, two receptions, 22 yards in this game, unable to get that. Um, First down, so it comes down down to uh, third and four for the Broncos. So we'll see uh, what they'll do in this drive here. There you see again Thomas catches the ball. You see Decker uh, doing quite well since the last time we uh, uh, he played there in the uh, preseason. There you see we're sim of the game, and Broncos end up getting a field goal on that drive. So now uh, we're going to see what the Steelers can do on their attempt at their field goal and there you see the field goal is good so a tie ball game three all here late in the first quarter of the first game of this uh, 2012 uh, season so uh, here we go with 3.30 left in the first quarter you see Manning drops back fires throws the Bonds Bonds gets the ball and gets the first down so as you see, three receptions, 33 yards at this point in the game. Bond's doing quite well on the field, both in receiving and in uh, rushing here in the game. And there you see Huffin and Puffin like the big man he is. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to uh, first and ten ball on the 47 yard line in Broncos territory. There you see Bonds going uh, for a, uh, actually it was supposed to be a, uh, a screen pass, but he actually ended up going deep, but wasn't that time it would be thrown to him. So second and ten, Bonds again a flat, and he is unable to catch the ball while he's getting tackled right there. Uh, at that play, in that play right there, uh, so unable to catch the ball. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through this and get to the last 30 seconds in this uh, first quarter here. Uh, ball game still tied 3-3. There you see Barnes you know, takes the ball and get, runs it and gets the first down. And he is tackled in Steelers territory. You see nine rushes for 59 yards so far at this point in the ball game. So now we go ahead and get to the end of the uh, first quarter there. And we're getting ready for the second quarter. You see and score tied three, three down down. 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 in this ball game. So uh, let's go ahead and get to uh, the from second and six. You see a nice catch there by Tammy. Jacob Tanny, a former Colt player, a former teammate of Manning's, uh, was able, unable to play with Manning last year uh, because of Manning's uh, neck injury. But there you see this year they are connecting like no other uh, on that catch right there. A nice first down by Jacob Tanny. Uh, he actually was one of my favorite players to play with in uh, last year's Madden game. Um, I actually was so I was so upset when he uh, had to retire. Uh, I actually uh, had another guy that was just uh, better than he was. Uh, but Tanny was one of my favorite targets in the game for last year's Madden. So let's go ahead and get to the next play. You see second and third bonds. Again, rushes in and gets the first down. So 13 rushes, 80 yards at this point. Uh, we're in now in, in the red zone here in steer territory. Uh, ball on the 12-yard line. Score still 3-3. Bonds trying to go in to the, uh, where he's assigned to go to, but no hole there to get him that first down. So second and nine. Ball's on the 11-yard line with that one-yard run right there, and then he gets pushed back two yards. So that makes it third and 11. You see Bonds getting uh, roughed up there in the backfield. So we go ahead and we get to fourth and four, and we have no choice but to punt the ball. So now they punt the ball to uh, or yeah, okay, never mind. They punt the ball to us. Then we get the ball here at the 43-yard line. And you see Bonds goes off, and Manning gets uh, hit right there. I think he was trying to throw to um, one of his receivers there, and he got roughed up there. Uh, so he had no choice but th uh, throw the ball at third and six. So uh, they had to punt the ball. We get the ball back in our own 20. So second and 10. Manning uh, throws it to Deccan. And then we actually end up scoring a field goal actually before this play. Uh, we score. So it's scored now 6 3. And we now we simulate the game uh, for the last three 
uh, three minutes of the game, and you see a broken collarbone by Decker. I'm telling you guys, collarbones are no good. Those in type of injuries, wow, those are uh, pretty much uh, season-ending injuries right there. So you see in this play, second and six, Bonds gets a good run right there to get the first down. Gets the uh, six yards, actually gets uh, about seven yards there on that play. Uh, so you see first down by uh, Manning there, and you see the numbers right there so far. Uh, Rossberry really doing a good job there in yardage, uh, but he hasn't thrown uh, Manning hasn't thrown a pick yet, and like um, Rossberry. So first and ten, ball on the 38 yard line. He throws it, and Stokely catches it. Brandon Stokely, another former Colts player, right there, catches the ball. There on the 27 yard line, so now we're almost inside the 20 here in Steeler territory. So now I see Bonds goes deep, Bonds catches it, and he gets it, and he's inside the six yard line there with 30 seconds left in this first half. Can Bonds and the Broncos score before time is up? So 26 seconds left, ball on the six yard line, first and goal. Manning hands off to Bonds. Bonds gets in there, and oh, he gets stuffed right at the one yard line. Unable to get the ball in there, so second and goal. Bonds, we're gonna see it there in I formation once again and see if we can run it in there. And he is stuffed again. But wait a minute, they go ahead and give him the touchdown with forward progress. So a touchdown for Bonds and the Broncos makes the score now 12 to 3. Of course, going for the extra point will make it 13 3. And they will have a good lead going into the half and also the momentum to go into the second half there. You see a nice handoff. I honestly didn't think he crossed the, uh, the goal line, but he might, they say he did. So they get the extra point. And so now we go into the third quarter. So second and 11. And he, there you see Manning throwing to him his uh, other favorite target there. Uh, Thomas there. You see 190 yards by Manning and passing for the night. And then you see a nice pass there, right there. Great catch, great look. And there you see he just he keeps upright, keeps his balance using his hand there, his right hand to keep him up, uh, so he can get that extra uh, yak there. So uh, third and eight, we have to punt the ball. Uh, I'm able to do anything, so we punt the ball. Uh, and now we get the, uh, we it, they will they couldn't do anything. Uh, so we end up getting the ball back in our 41. There you see Bonds gets a catch. And, oh, he get, drops. He gets nailed there on that nasty hit right there by Thomas. So uh, they're a stealer. So second and 10, ball in the 41. I see Bonds again trying to go out and go deep. And, oh, he is stopped this time. And, and, but wait a minute, it's an injury. Wait a minute, it's not Bonds. It's actually a Steelers player who is injured. So we have no choice. Uh, we try to go for third and ten, but unable. We have to punt the ball, and we end up uh, getting the ball back to the Steelers. And the Steelers get a shot at the in, in our territory, our red zone, and for a field goal, but unable to get it short to the left. So score still 13-3. Uh, third quarter, second and ten. Bonds gets the catch, and Bonds grabs it, and he is gone. It's only him and a uh, second, uh, one of the secondaries right there, and they get him there, and he definitely gets the first down. There, you see, 243 yards for Bonds uh, for uh, Manning there. It's not Bonds. Uh, no touchdowns yet, but there you see a pass thrown by man to Bonds and the connection right there. Another first down. And you see six receptions, 190 yards for Bonds, for Bonds in the game. And uh, hopefully we can get a touchdown from Manning here passing uh, to keep this drive alive. Uh, already having a great game, 200, 240 plus yards and counting for Manning in this game. Bonds also doing well, uh, both receptions and at rushing. So here we go. They're going I formation, another running play. We're going to see if we can get uh, Bonds in the end zone once again. And we do. And it's a handoff, and he's given to Bonds right there. He gets inside the five yard line. And you see the red zone trips, two trips both times, doing quite well. So here we go. Uh, one being a field goal, and one being a touchdown. We'll see if we can get another touchdown. And Bonds gets in and gets in and breaks the tackle. It's a touchdown. There you see Bonds fired up. For his second touchdown of the night, making the score 
And the extra point would make it 20 with a great run right there by Bonds, putting his head down and only breaking that one tackle. Other than that, he was untouched and got the touchdown. I you see here, you hear my high getting very, very, very excited about this uh, this uh, player and this team for this season. There you see uh, we end up uh, giving up a field goal, uh, or actually no, a touchdown to the Steelers, making it uh, uh, 20 to 10. So there you see Bonds in the getting the kickoff, and then you see he runs it, runs it past them. Could he go? There's one go all the way. It is at the 30, the 20, the 10, and he does. He gets a touchdown, a kickoff touchdown return right there for Bonds. Talk about a look at see Doomer. He's getting pumped up, firing up this rookie right here. Look at him. Look at that intensity in his eyes. He is long gone. He is only thinking about a touchdown and a touchdown only. So a touchdown, uh, kick, uh, kickoff, uh, returning touchdown there for Bonds. Talk about a game for him. Two rushing touchdowns, now a kickoff touchdown for Bonds. We'll see what he can do here in the last five minutes of the third quarter. 27 10 for the Broncos. Broncos lead. Now you see Bonds moves around that tackle and gets yards. First down and more. And you see 117 yards with 25 carries in the game. Bonds definitely look at him. He is fired up. It's a second and 10. There you see Bonds calls for the ball again. Gets the go. Oh, he does. He had the catch, but then got hit and lost the ball. So you know that old saying: if you touch the ball, you catch the ball. So we'll go ahead and punt the uh, simulate the game. The, they punt to us. There are our 20. The Steelers. Steelers trying to find do anything in this game. And you see Bonds are unable to get to that pass there by Manning. Um, both men off uh, cues on that play right there. So. Go ahead and get the second and ten, and then you see a pass there to Tammy, and Tammy just like, just like uh, Bonds, unable to catch it. You see uh, Troy Palomala uh, was the one that got him that time. So now we go to first and ten, 27-10 still, 48 seconds left in the third quarter. Bonds, you see, try and go deep, and Bonds unable to catch it, almost an interception right there by the uh, Steelers defense right there so the Steelers defense not as good as uh, they said they were it was like fourth in the uh, league or, uh, I believe they were fourth or something like that in the league or something like that and there you see um, Bonds on a handoff right there the Steelers defense not as good as uh, the you know traditional Steelers defense usually is a uh, year in a year out so we go into the fourth quarter here first and 10 27 10 still the score Bonds catches the ball and here we go another touchdown for Peyton Manning and a touchdown for Bonds now Bonds now has two rushing touchdowns a kickoff return touchdown and a pat and a receiving receiving touchdown man I can't speak right now I'm so excited about this game there you see a hit nasty hit by uh, there on Manning, but he does was he's able to get the ball to the target he's supposed to throw to, which is Bonds. And there you see Bonds going in for the touchdown. What a game for Bonds there! So score now uh, with the extra point, 34-10, and we go to uh, 11 minutes left in this fourth quarter. You see second and eight. And it looks like it's going to be a pass to Tammy right there. Manning connects with Tammy for the first down. And we got an injury right uh, Another Steeler down. Looks like Harrison, I believe. Uh, which I don't find that fictitious in this game. But uh, first and ten, Bonds gets the catch by Manning. And he doesn't get the touchdown. No, he is just a yard shy of getting that touchdown. So Manning could have had another touchdown for Bonds there. So we're at the one yard line. We'll see what the uh, Broncos can do at this uh, on this drive here. And you see they're trying to take him down and pull him on, like, just like all the rest of them, trying to get him down and do at the one yard line. So man, he drops back, fires, throws to Hester, the fullback, fullback. Hester gets in and it's a touchdown. So there you see Manny again connecting with his uh, fullback this time for a uh, 
passing touchdown one uh, for the second uh, touchdown in the game here. There you see, he falls in there, jumps in there, and gets it. So now it's 40 to 18 or 41 18 after the extra point. So eight minutes left. This is a lopsided score. I'm telling you guys, uh, we should they should have put in second stringers, but Manny and the crews wanted to stay in the game. You see 28 rushes, 127 yards for Bonds there on that. Sh Nice uh, short um, rushing play right there. There you see Tim's and Crew right there trying to tackle Bonds, and he, they do, uh, but he does get that yardage for that um, the yards he needs to get the Broncos going forward and move those chains. So uh, let's go ahead and get to the game. We get to second and or third and two. 41-18 uh, so with seven minutes left the in the ball game, and you see Manning thinking about changing the play. Of course, if you guys know from past Manning games, Manning uh, would change the play on the fly. But this one, he does, and he ends it. He hands the ball off to Bonds, and then Bonds gets the first down. And you see 30 rushes, 157 yards in the game. He gets the first down, so they're inside the red zone now. They're in the on the 10-yard line. Bonds gets hand, uh, Manny hands off to Bonds, and Bonds gets the short run there for about three, four yards. Let's make it four yards there. So third down here, we go to third down, and you see Bonds uh, getting another handoff to from Manning and a touchdown. Touchdown once again. I believe that's his third rushing touchdown of the game with five minutes left in this game. Will make the score after the um, after the extra point 48 to 18. So the Steeler defense not as not as good as everyone makes them out to be. Uh, you know, of course they say the Steelers uh, team as a whole is an old team, uh, which I have to quite agree with this uh, and this uh, for this game right here. So. After the extra point, like I said, 48-18. So you see 180 yards, three rushing touchdowns, four bonds in this game. So 320 left in the fourth quarter, and they're running down the play clock. They want to milk this drive, milk the clock, and this drive as much as possible. Manny hands off to Bonds, and Bonds gets a uh, rush right there of about two yards. So we go to second and eight. And Manning, trying to beat the play clock. they're in ace formation. Looks like he's going to pass the ball to, uh, one, uh, actually, no, it's a handoff to Bonds. And Bonds uh, breaks the tackle, breaks, uh, actually breaks two tackles before he gets tackled by Hood there with two tackles in the game. And now the uh, Broncos have to figure out, see if they can uh, move the ball maybe this time through the air. Uh, not so much on the ground. Uh, the Steelers are, are homing in, uh, homing in on Bonds in this game. So uh, there you see in the replay, a nice tackle by um, here coming up by Hood. And there you see, ouch. Uh, so uh, we actually end up pinning the ball, and they punt the ball back to us, and unable Rossberger and the Steelers are unable to go down the field to. Score any, of course, the game is already over with, with the score as the way it is. So, this one actually counts, and then we put this in the record books. The final score 51 18, Bonds 38, uh, or excuse me, 37 carries, 185 yards, three touchdowns, uh, 122 yards uh, receiving, I believe. Uh, uh, eight uh, receptions in the game. Uh, talk about a game. I, the, the reception numbers might be a little off, but uh, what a game. I mean, just overall, I mean, a punt, uh, also a kick return um, for a touchdown. I mean, just, I mean, this kid was just all over uh, on the offense and just overall the defense for the for the uh, Broncos. I mean, amazing. A whole not just giving up 18 points, unlike uh, the Steelers. Uh, have end up giving up 51 um, for the ball game. So um, there you see, we'll see some some of the stats right there. Um, there you see, um, yeah, Brodsburg had over 600 yards in the game. 
alone. Uh, they didn't run the ball as much as they, um, well, at least in the past couple of years, they've uh, went more to a passing game. But I'm talking about maybe around the Jerome Bennis days. Um, you know, the Steelers um, are known for their running game and also for their defense. So um, some of the stats right there, I'm, I'm hoping we'll get to um, Theo's, or excuse me, TJ stats. Ugh. Um Right now, Theo's doing quite well in baseball right now. If you guys have been watching those episodes, but all right now we're talking about TJ. Here is he, uh, 38 carry or 37 carries, 185 yards, averaging five yards a carry, and three touchdowns in the game. You see McGinnis, Willie McGinnis, uh, one carry, three yards uh, in the game. So um, I hate to tell you this, but uh, Willie, you might have to find another job because I don't think this job is going to be led up by Bonds here. Anytime soon, there you see this uh, six foot, two hundred and twenty eight pounds from Stanford University, Stanford Cardinal, teammate of uh, former uh, or former quarterback uh, Andrew Luck uh, from my old uh, NCAA twelve uh, days uh, when I created TJ and that game from last year. So. Uh, go ahead, and there you see 104 yards, uh, a, a single single game record uh, for Big Ben there. And then you see some of the stuff we see on Twitter. Strong showing by T.J. Bonds, uh, but who butchered the Steelers' defense this week? Uh, and I th I would say butcher would be an understatement. <laughs> um, there you see so far season goal 185 yards. He needs 500 to get. Uh, the XP he needs to get that um, to, to meet that goal, uh, and there you see already he has 10,525 for this season. Like I, um, I don't know if I said this in the last video, but uh, I'm gonna save up enough XP for him um, so we don't have uh, towards the end of the season or when we get deep in the season. I want to get uh, some more of the you know big uh, packages uh, for him and, and so on and so forth. So. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go here and there you see uh, 500 XP for the practice that he actually uh, successfully completed and I uh, guess uh, all the XP for all the weekly goals and some of the milestone goal milestone goals that uh, he got um, already uh, so far um, for the season so uh, there you see uh, gonna go on to the next week here you guys want to see what actually what it got uh, just uh, pause the video check him out uh, see what he got and whatnot so uh, we'll go ahead and get to next week and we're gonna go to week two which I believe if we play against uh, the Atlanta Falcons oh yeah he's playing against his daddy Playing against uh, Teddy Senior, uh, actually not in this connected careers. In this connected careers, uh, 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 Teddy Senior is not the coach of the Atlanta Falcons, but um, you know, we, I guess you guys, I guess we could pretend like he's playing his dad. Um, uh, so you see it right there. His overall is now 80. Um, I just just unlocked that trophy. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, in next week's episode, or next the next episode, episode four, uh, we play against the Atlanta Falcons. They're in Hot Atlanta at the Georgia Dome. We'll see what we can do against those dirty birds. That's it for this week. This it for this episode here on ESGN Net for Madden 13 Connected Chris with TJ Bunce. See you guys next time.